Okay, let's do a real quick video here on the quality of the MP replacement bug dash 68 to 70. We're going to be putting this into a 71. The only difference is that the uh, up to 70 has the round hole in the center of the dash versus the rectangular hole. Uh, and that's just a matter of preference. I won't be using the uh, brake check light anyway, so that is not a matter of importance to me. First off, we find that this unit is pretty flimsy as far as rubbery goes. It's not a very heavy-duty, flat, hard piece of rubber. It's pretty pretty soft, but that's all right because we want it to mate up nicely. You notice right off the bat, you do not have a cutout for your radio. You've got to cut that out yourself. And uh, if you've got a car that you wanted to put a old-style fuel gauge into while well, you're going to have to cut that out as well. The circle here for the dash uh, for the uh, speedometer pod I can tell right away I'm going to have to trim that to make it good and as you can see we got some pretty sharp cuts here they're not exactly round where you would be putting your speaker and I'm a little bit concerned about this one being a little cut high. Okay uh, first complaint I'm going to flip it over and here's where you're supposed to be screwing this puppy into your dash. I'm here to tell you that none of those holes, not a single one, is pre-drilled for you. So you get to poke around and find out where those holes are. Uh, that's all we got going on so far. We'll give you another highlight once it's installed and maybe even along the way. Here you can see, uh, again, not the best of quality of cuts. For where the glove box goes, I suspect I'll be having to do some trimming there as well. And here's your backside, or shall I say the backside of the dash pad. Alright, there you go. That's a quick review out of the box of the MP Replacement Bug Dash, part number 004435-0. Okay, well, the truth is that the 70 and 71 dashes are a little bit more different than just this hole here. As you can see, other holes flat out do not line up. So, the moral of the story is, when somebody tells you they're all the same, they are not all the same. Even the grab handle holes are off. So, if you've got a 71 or greater, don't buy a up to 70 dash because it will not fit. Bummer. All right, so we're going to do a follow-up here of um, the installation of the dash. Uh, I ended up returning that uh, previous empty dash and happened to find a dashboard that had been in a storage unit for 10 years, never installed. Got it for 80 bucks, which is a considerable discount. And you can see, um, I don't know if it's because over the years the rubber shrank uh, or what, but the holes lined up quite a bit nicer. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. There was a lot of pulling and stretching just millimeter by millimeter to get all the screws at the bottom to line up and properly get uh, secured. It was no easy task at all. So if you've got... Hands that get sore pretty easy, and you kind of want to take it easy on that because it's not going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, it's in there. It looks good. Um, this is not an MP branded dash, by the way. And uh, by spending 10 years in uh, storage, it was a lot firmer um, than what we originally showed you. Notice I did get the correct year unit with the cutouts for the... Uh, brake testing button and the fan switch uh, for the later year unit. Still have to cut out for the radio and uh, I did have to do quite a bit of trimming. Um, did some trimming for some gauges that uh, aren't quite ready yet and for the speaker and uh, so look for some of my other videos that uh, cover all this fun stuff that we get to do on the dashboard.